Well, we were going to stay at Picacho Peak State Park on the way back down towards Sinoida, just north of Tucson, but um, the park's full. We drove up there and uh, they, there was no room at the inn. We're going to boondock for the night. We're here across the freeway from Picacho Peak State Park. It's kind of a trashy area. I'm not bothered by that for one night. Well, I'm bothered that Human beings have to do this, but human beings are what human beings are. That's uh, I-10. It's kind of noisy, but it won't bother us. Picacho Peak. When we button it up with our dual pane windows and good insulation, we don't hear that kind of traffic noise at night. But what we will hear, oh my God, what timing. Yeah, we'll hear this at night. Yeah, I think we'll hear that at night. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here's one going the other way. This is about 15 minutes later. Hey, I'm trying to edit a video here. Thank you. We're hurrying back to Tucson today to catch a plane to frozen South Dakota. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Here we go again. Hey, Becky Jo. <laughs> I'll take my iPad. Becky, you already got your stocking cap on. My gloves are in it. And your gloves are what? In it. In your stocking cap? Yeah. Oh, good idea. Thanks. It's exactly the same. It's a lot like Christmas tree. can try weighing. Notice anything missing here in the Rapid City Airport? People. And my son, who lives in Arizona now, is still wearing his shorts. My container. About to go out into the weather. Holy crap. Oh, and the wind is 30 miles an hour. The wind chill is 22 below. Ay, ay, ay. What, uh, it's not him? Ay, 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 ay. You ready to put on your pants? <laughs> it's cold out there. <laughs> the coldest Peter's ever been in. Is that him right there? 
What's the cold? What's the coldest you've ever been in? 13 degrees, Portland, Oregon. Yeah, with the wind chill out no. here, it's 22 below. Yeah, it's it was cold. <laughs> it was cold. Well, we walk out this morning to a bright and sunny day in Rapid City, South Dakota. This is our uh, Airbnb. Had a good night's sleep. They put salt, rock salt, on the walkways to make the snow melt. Hmm. So we are about to go to Cousin Mike's ranch. Engage. Engage. <laughs> yeah. He's got horses. He's got a pony. Yeah, he's got several ponies. I think the last time I talked to him, he had six. In the back view of the uh, back, take pictures in the back. There's more back there. I didn't realize I had my director with me today. <laughs> and star of the show. house all of those kids are riding down here to go look at the horses or something and, I, don't know, I decided I would walk because you got to use it or lose it although it is a little chilly out here are you friendly yeah I think you are yeah Hello. Do you know their names, Mark? There's a lot of horses. Are we coming over here to say hi? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't bring any carrots. <laughs> They're circling us. <laughs> looking for a little something to eat oh look at you white face I don't got nothing for you to mug me I don't got nothing. <laughs> they, they thought he had something yeah <laughs> whoa I don't know anything about horses <laughs> Oh, look at, there's a Shetland. Are you coming over here? No, you're not going to walk in the snow. You're standing on that nice warm hay. Time for a story. When I was a kid growing up in South Dakota, uh, not too far from where we just saw that little Shetland pony, my dad bought me a Shetland pony. And uh, I was a little kid. I had a saddle and a bridle and saddlebags that were just like Hopalong Cassidy's. <laughs> uh, little stuff for a little kid and a little horse. Wish I still had that stuff. I could eBay that and change my standard of living. That saddle, bridle, and saddlebags of the black with the silver, not real silver for a kid's, of course. But uh, I'm sure that would be a collectible item today. He was a mean little horse, a little stud Shetland. And as long as we were going away from the ranch, he was okay. But as soon as he like turned around to come back home, he would take off in a gallop and you couldn't stop him. Uh, I would drop one rein and jerk the other rein. Now, remember, I'm like, I don't know. 10 years old, I would drop one rein and jerk on the other rein until I got his head pulled clear back around. And one time when I was doing that, I did that to get him to slow down and stop. One time when I did that, he bit me on the knee. <laughs> anyway, 
had him for uh, a year or so, and he was grazing out in the pasture, and a rattlesnake bit him on the nose, and he died. Well, everybody felt bad for Jerry, of course, because his horse died. And uh, Grandpa, who had a lot of horses, said, well, the mare lady uh, is with foal, and when that colt is born, that'll be Jerry's horse. Well, the day it was born, and I think this was a setup by the adults, they had the neighbor come over and offer me 50 bucks for that new little pony. And of course, I didn't take it, but it was their way of getting me to value it, sort of. And uh, when I was 10 years old, 50 bucks was <laughs> a lot more than it is today. Anyway, I uh, had this beautiful little cold. It was about six weeks old, and lightning struck it and killed it. And the whole family, including Grandpa Pete, said, no more horses for Jerry. That's the end of my horse career. Hey, thanks for watching me today. The next video, we're going out into Custer State Park. And uh, a really strange thing happened with the buffalo out there. I grew up in South Dakota, and I've been to Custer State Park, and I have seen buffalo my whole growing up life. Uh, but I have never seen buffalo do what I saw buffalo do out there on this trip. You're also going to see some of the rest of my family, because the reason we're in South Dakota is it's my brother's retirement party. So come on back to see the buffalo. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.